I'm Steve for This Hook With Cars, and today is my trailer test of Ford's new all-electric F-150 Lightning. So what will I be pulling around today? I'll be pulling around my three-quarter ton Chevrolet Suburban. That is the smallest vehicle that I normally pull a trailer with. My go-to truck is a Ford F-550, and my trucks just get bigger from there. If this test goes awry and I end up running out of juice, I'll be hooking the Suburban up to the trailer, and I'll be shaming the Lightning by pulling it home with the Chevrolet. Normally, I would not be pulling a load this heavy with a half-ton truck. And this is not the truck that Ford wants you to pull a load like this either. You would want at least the F-250 or larger if you're pulling something this big. The Platinum version, which I have here, has a load capacity of 10,000 pounds. Let's hit the road and see what it's like to tow with the brand new all-electric F-150 Lightning. Okay, I've got the trailer hooked up. I am going to be leaving it in normal mode for now with one pedal driving still left on. Under towing, I have not selected a trailer. Right now it shows that we have 250 miles of range. If I go and I select the default trailer, it will automatically change our range. It says 125 miles. So all it's doing is dividing that in half. That's a good estimate. If you're pulling a trailer with a normal truck, and it decreases your range by half, it's pretty much gonna do that in this truck as well. Let's go with no trailer active because I wanna see how well this thing calculates that range. I don't wanna go by anything that Ford has decided. Let's actually watch it decrease as we're driving. And from the videos that I've seen, people are trying to do things with this truck that it's not really meant to do. I know I have a pretty heavy load on it today, but I'm not sure that I trust the results that the other people are doing. They're kind of doing a torture test on it. Let's go into the onboard scales. This will show us how much weight we have on the tongue. You can see that we are still well within the maximum range of the tongue weight. I'm going to drive around town for a while and if everything seems to be going well, I'm going to take a trip to another town. We'll run this across the scales, see how much total weight we have here, and then see if we can make it back. So I'm going to start in standard mode and I'm just going to drive around town pulling this truck around for a while, which I think is what this truck is really intended to do. You would hook up a small trailer, you drive around town, haul your lawnmower around, your ATV, your snowmobile, things like that. I haven't been on the road in a Lightning with a trailer yet, so this is going to be fun. The first thing you notice is that it's fast. It doesn't seem like the trailer has slowed this thing down at all. You can definitely drive the speed of normal traffic if you wanted to go that fast with pulling this trailer. The Suburban that I have loaded on the back is a three quarter ton with an 8.1 liter V8. It's not like the modern trucks that need a lot of different gears in the transmission in order to pull a big load. So it's not shifting all the time. And obviously this Lightning is never shifting. And this truck has way more torque than that three quarter ton Suburban. I don't think we've driven even a mile yet and our range has already gone down to 247. Forgot to mark down the mileage that we started at. Okay, I think we started at about 370 miles. And we had a 250 mile range. I also brought my calculator from my mechanical engineering days in case we need to do some calculations mid-trip. Right now it shows we've driven only a mile and a half and we've already dropped seven miles in range. Let's keep going. Today is a pretty terrible day out. It says 84 degrees on the dashboard, but we are under a heat advisory. It feels well over 100 degrees outside right now. So this truck is definitely going to be working with the climate control today. And I don't know what kind of effect that's going to have on the battery either. This is definitely the smoothest vehicle that I've ever pulled a trailer with. You don't even notice that the trailer's there. 
makes no difference in how much power this truck feels like it has. This view right here is actually really handy when changing lanes with the trailer. I can easily see if there's a car next to my trailer back there. I really like that. One of the best things I can say about this version of the Lightning is that it is having no problem towing that other truck on that trailer. I don't feel like I need a larger truck than this F-150. The normal thing that would let me down in an F-150 I think would be the size of the engine, hearing it shift all the time. This Lightning is pulling this so effortlessly that I feel this is all I need for pulling this three quarter ton Suburban around. We're just over the half hour mark now, and it looks like from our original range of 250 miles, we've only used 19 of those pulling this trailer around town. Speed limits keep changing, but I'm trying not to speed too much. And normally when I'm towing something around, I'm not that much of in a hurry. I'm trying to gauge my stops correctly so that I can gain as much of the power back as I can. I don't think I did the best job there, 91% that time. Once we're up to speed, it doesn't take a whole lot of energy to maintain a certain speed. So the amount of momentum we have between the trailer and the truck I'm towing doesn't really make much of a difference because it doesn't take a whole lot of energy to keep it at a certain speed if we just stay there. Sorry about that, I looked over and the camera had turned. To give you an update, I've driven now for 45 minutes. I've gone 16 and a half miles and we've used from our initial 250 mile range, just 31 miles of it. So that's looking like the estimation that it's going to cut your range in half seems to be about right. It is 88 degrees outside right now. Our battery and our motor temperatures are staying right where they should be. In case you were interested, I do have my trailer brake gain set to five. I've been driving around for an hour now, so I think it's time that I stop, check my straps, and then I think it's time to drive two towns away to drive across the scale and see what our total vehicle weight here is. Before we take off, let's see where all of our power went so far. 77% went to driving, so that's a little bit less than what I saw the other day. 4% went to climate use, and because it's so hot today, we're losing more due to the climate of today. It's 90 degrees out right now. We are under a heat advisory. 
so the weather today is not the best conditions for this test. Now let's head out on the highway and see if we make it back. We've made it to the first town that we need to go through to get to the town that has the scale. We're now in a town that has the scales. I just need to get to the other side of town where the elevator is, and we'll see how much weight we've been dragging around all day. I'm here at the scales now. I'm gonna find out the total weight that we've been hauling around all day. Comes in at 15,760 pounds. We made it to the scales. We now have, our mileage is a 402.8 and we've driven 32.9 miles. Our range is now at 181. So our range has dropped by 69 miles. But we've only driven 32.9 miles. But of course we've been driving for one hour and 24 minutes so far. So I think that's the thing that you need to rearrange your brain when you're talking about electric vehicles. It's not really about how far you're driving, it's about how long you can drive. I know that I've greatly overestimated the, the amount of miles that something is away from me because it takes so long to get there. I drove around for an hour around town and we only covered 15 miles. But in a gasoline vehicle, that would make a gigantic change in range driving around for one hour because you're always using fuel sitting at stoplights. Right now here sitting at the scales, we would be using fuel. So let's make our way back. I'm going to take a bit different route. That way we can get on some four lane roads to go a little faster. And then we'll do a wrap up when we get back. I've been driving for two hours now. Let's head back and come to some conclusions. Okay, I made it back. We've driven about two hours. 
covered 54.9 miles and we were getting 1.4 miles per kilowatt hours. This truck has a 145 kilowatt hour battery. So that means that at 1.4 miles per kilowatt hour, we could go 203 miles with the type of driving in the environment, in the landscape that I am in here. So that means if we can go 203 miles and in 54.9 miles, we takes us two hours to cover that with the type of driving that we were doing. That means that we can drive for 7.39 hours in total with the type of driving that we were doing. That's pretty impressive. That's 7.39 nonstop hours of driving in the Ford Lightning. And that's pulling a trailer with a three quarter ton Suburban on it. Now over our two hours, let's see where all of our energy went. 3% went to the air conditioning, 85% went to driving. And that's kind of what I was seeing when I was driving without the trailer. 4% went to accessories and 8% went to external temperature. That is the losses that we're having because it's not ideal temperature outside right now. I'm impressed. I thought based on the other videos that I've seen that I'd only barely even make it back. And it looks like we haven't even used half of our range yet. And we only started with about 80% range. So we've only used about 30% of our range in the two hours that I was driving. Well, that was incredible. We pulled around over 15,700 pounds for two hours in the electric lightning. We barely touched the amount of range that it has. And it was an absolute joy to pull a trailer behind this electric truck. Driving it around is far more relaxed than if you're driving a gasoline powered vehicle, especially when you're having to stop at stoplights and being in stop and go traffic. You're not having to listen to your truck shift gears all the time. And when you do have to stop at a stoplight, you know that you're regaining energy back into your battery. This truck is also by far the fastest thing that I have ever pulled a trailer with. If you're coming up an on-ramp on an interstate, you could outrun any car that's on that interstate. Passing people and getting into the lane that you'd like to be in is absolutely no problem with this truck. So I stand by what I said in my original video. If you are doing truck things every once in a while, or if you're sticking to town when you're pulling a trailer, this is absolutely a great truck to pull your stuff around. With the type of driving that I did today, which was city, highway, and some interstate, I could drive around for seven hours or more pulling this truck and trailer. I've been greatly impressed, and if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.